We're here to solve this tapa by John Bolton. The theme is white space, and it's very much that this whole center area uh, has a, a set that's got no clues near it, but is a fairly open space, and something we'll have to figure out as we work through the grid how we'll fill in. There are a whole set of common starting points and deductions uh, in this puzzle. I'll just sort of go through marking some of them in. I mean, the four on the edge always takes these three center cells that now comes straight into this one, two, two clue. Notice that a one, two, two clue is, is uh, pretty fully packed. It has three white cells around it, but every other clue is going to be efficiently using the cells that are near it. And one thing that lets us do is recognize, for instance, one of the cells, but not both of these cells, are going to be shaded. And in a, the, the, what, whichever is the unshaded cell, the opposite uh, kitty corner cell around this 3-3 clue will be the other cell that's unshaded in that space. And so if you've played with a fair number of TAPA, you may know how this 3-3 type clue communication goes, but this will help you get uh, some of this progress in quicker into the grid. Notice that with these X's marked, we also have isolated this bottom section of the top, but it can't come through this channel, can't come through this channel, so it must come through this channel, and that actually is how we'll quickly resolve uh, these parts uh, of the grid, like so. We've got these uh, cells uh, marked off appropriately. I've got another case where I'm going to have uh, some unusable cells marked in, and that's because off of this two by two rule, one of these has to be unused. So the remaining cells around a three, three for sure are used. I now have these two cells shaded near this one, two, two clue. So we actually know which ones will not be marked. And that lets us finish in this one, four clue pretty quickly. Um, we've got uh, this fulfilled. Uh, one thing to think about is how we're gonna connect the remaining uh, cells around this one, two, two. Remember I said that a clue like this has a single gap and then the, the sort of remaining cells are shaded. One thing you'll recognize is that uh, we can't get uh, both of these to be unused in the diagonal and also if this is unused, we can't really fulfill this clue. So there's a space where the two, one of the twos is gonna start from the cell and come out in one direction. And maybe straight away we don't know which one that is, but as we actually think through the space of it, we'll probably be able to constrain which one it must be, uh, probably by the, the forcing this one three. If, if this one three isn't here, it has to come through here, uh, we're gonna isolate parts of the grid. So the one three must use the cell. So it takes that one two, take that one two. Got uh, this working through. So you got an N that's gonna come through the center. Got this N that's gonna come through the center. We actually have put all the unused cells around the six, so that fills in very quickly. We've got um, all the info around this two. We need to get a one, uh, two, two different individual ones around these clues. And here's the thing I rarely do, but it's sometimes helpful to just see, like around any clue that only has ones left, you're never gonna be taking both cells. So these X's are effectively blockers, and some of these cells are never reachable, like the ones I just marked, and in this case, We've got these cells, it's the only two we can reach, or we need to come around like so. You'll also see around this one, one, we've got one option to take one of these two cells, but we always take this cell. Around this one, one, we have two options we can take that uh, give us a separation in the middle. This then will need to wrap around uh, this edge of the grid to stay connected. These three cells marked means the cell is unmarked. Again, we're now near a 3 3 clue, so the opposite diagonal is the other one that's unshaded and these for sure are shaded. We finished off this clue. We're going to put this in. Uh, we finished off actually what's true around the six, and um, with this shaded we have to actually mark off the five appropriately coming through this. We got this one three marking. We're going to have connection through the center probably be driving the rest of the parts of the solve. The cell must be on, so we have two by two rule. We now have all of these as isolated bits of the grid, so we've got to shade into here to get the center to look correct. One thing we need to think about is how this 2-4 can go, and if we don't use this cell, it's going to have to be through this cell. And that actually seems pretty reasonable. Um, let's see what happens if we don't take that cell. If we don't take that cell, we have to take these. And the question now is how do you get a one through two fulfilled around here? This is the only cell that gives us a two cell unit, but we can't reach another one in. 
And so um, key constraint is that we can't stay connected and also fulfill this clue. So we come in like this with a 2-4 to stay connected. The cell must be taken to reach to the rest of the top of that cell. This cell must be taken. Um, this one clue, two clue must fill in like so. We now have a case where if you've ever seen these groups converging, you'll see that if you took a cell like this, you'll mark quickly off these two cells based on the two by two rule. And so you'll isolate in the top part of the grid, this top of cells. So instead you have to avoid the one that's near the two two by twos, take the one that's farther out. That gives us this, this is for connectivity, that's unusable two by two and that for connectivity. And we finish this puzzle. It has a fair bit of uh, top of patterns, a lot around these three, three clues at the start, even around this one, two, two, pretty filled clue. If you can see how this four on the edge becomes what happens here, becomes what happens here, which feeds back in. That's a slightly more advanced uh, way that basic patterns flow through each other, but an example for those who've solved a lot of top of why this would be a pretty quick start puzzle and a, a puzzle that's only a, a two star difficulty for our site. So uh, we'll, leave, we'll leave that there for this video, but hopefully you got some tips and tricks, and we'll see you again soon.